I want to start off by saying congratulations to this individual who was the 100th person to pass their certified cybersecurity exam using the Sonic Project. I'm not really big into revealing names of people on the internet just for testimonials and promotion. Just cause, I don't know, they might go on to really big or secret type jobs later in life after passing their CC or CSSP. And I don't, wanna, I don't want anything in, in my videos or website to come, come back to them. Sometimes I use their first name, but definitely not their, not their last name. You gotta think about that kind of stuff when posting on the internet, man. Uh, but if you follow me on LinkedIn, you can see who this person is. Um, but for now, he is also just known as the 100th person to use the Sonic Project and pass their exam. 100 may seem low, and it actually is, especially since about 10,000 people globally have taken the exam, or, or something like that. But my course isn't here to just help you pass the exam, you know what I'm saying? The Sonic Project is here to give you the basic security fundamentals, which will help anyone just wanting to start out in the cybersecurity industry. While the CC exam is easy, my course is not easy. It takes dedication and focus to go through my videos and practice questions as they are directly referenced from my seven year information security career as a network security engineer specializing in firewalls. It's not for anyone just flirting with the idea of joining the security industry, okay? But committing to it. That's it, man, that's it. All right, let's get to our certified in cybersecurity practice question from the Sonic Project. Your data center provider has stated that their ongoing physical infrastructure upgrades may result in electromagnetic interference. Your company's network stability has a maximum tolerable downtime of 15 minutes. What is the best way to reduce network jitter and crosstalk? Should you replace old Ethernet cables? Choice A. Should you inspect unshielded coaxial cable ratings? Choice B. Should you implement fiber optics in, as in choice C? Or do you want to convert? Well, that, 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 that all sounded really weird. Let me, let me try that again. What is the best way to reduce network jitter and crosstalk? Is it choice A, should you replace old ethernet cables? Is it choice B, inspect unshielded coaxial cable ratings? Or is it choice C, implement fiber optics? Or choice D, convert to a wireless solution? Let's take a look at what the question is asking by breaking it down piece by piece. The data center is going through a physical infrastructure upgrade. So things that are tangible like hardware devices or cables or the actual data center racks themselves, these are the things that are being moved around or changed. They are saying that whatever they're doing during the upgrade will cause EMI, electromagnetic interference. EMI is common in the networking world around the physical cables at layer one of the OSI model. So you know right away now that whatever the answer to this question, it has to do with anything in layer one of the OSI model. This is also the reason why we study the OSI model for both the CC and CSP exam. Knowing the model will help you answer other types of questions later on. Okay, and some of the things caused by EMI is network jitter, crosstalk, or even a complete network outage. Jitter is like when you're on a VoIP call and the person's voice drops in and out. In technical terms, it's when network packets experience a delay in reaching their destination. That's why you're hearing people's voices come in slowly and not in real time. Pretty cool, right? When using VoIP, your voice isn't analog, it's converted fully to digital, into binary. I find that fascinating for some reason. And crosstalk means that when two different physical cables are close to each other, data or voice traffic traveling, traveling through those cables may wind up being heard or spilled onto another network cable. Like, I don't know if this is even a thing anymore, but when I used to listen to satellite radio in my car, and then if I'm driving close to another car with the same station or frequency, I'd hear their radio station in my car. I wonder if another car experienced crosstalk with my car and heard everything I was listening to on the Howard Stern show. Boy, I hope not. <laughs> I love Howard though. Think of crosstalk as signal leakage. <laughs> leakage. Okay, and the question goes on to say that your company has a maximum tolerable downtime of 15 minutes. An MTD of 15 minutes means what? It means they consider their network traffic highly critical to their business operations. Some companies can experience a network outage for an hour, or five hours, or 10 hours, and be okay. 
but any company that can only experience a network outage for 15 minutes before they are losing customers and money, that's a company that has to take their availability seriously. You learn all about MTD and other business continuity terms in the CC exam too. But the objective of this question is simply to pick the choice that would reduce the risk of EMI. And if you've been studying your CC material or even your CISV material well, you will know that the only answer that makes sense for this question is choice C, to implement fiber optics. Which means the company already had a solution that was not fiber optics because of the word implement. That means you're doing something new, you're doing something you haven't done before. Careful to notice these key words on the real exam. It can, be, it can very well determine the entire question. It's not choice C because replacing your existing Ethernet cables... Uh, well, well, actually, let me, let me say this to sum it all up. All the other choices are susceptible to electromagnetic interference, okay? Ethernet cables, unshielded coaxial cables, no matter the rating, and wireless solutions. They are all susceptible to EMI. The only choice that is not is fiber optic cables. You can have all the EMI around fiber cables and they won't feel a thing. And if this was a, if this was the CISP exam, I would say that before implementing fiber optic everywhere, make sure to check with your management and get their approval. Because out of all the choices, fiber optic is not only the correct choice, but also the most expensive. Anything that has a cost or requires a lot of work put in by your staff to implement must always be approved by senior management because ultimately it costs the business money to do all that, which senior management is in charge of. They gotta spend money to make money. It requires an entire risk analysis and cost benefit analysis and a redo of a business impact analysis, just a lot of analysis before anything is done. But now I'm just getting too much into the CSP exam and not the CC, okay? I hope you take both, by the way. It's worth it. If you learned just one thing out of this entire video, just learn this. Fiber optic cables are best to reduce the risk of EMI and the network weirdness that comes with it. Thanks for watching. Good luck on your CC exam. I hope you use a Sonic project, but even if you don't, I know you will do great.